So today I came to the Grow House in Denver, Colorado. And uh, this place is really cool. They've got this aquaponics program where they're actually taking fish, they're taking tilapia. And then the water is circulating up and it's fertilizing the plants. Take a look. Oh, wow. I'm J.D. Sawyer and I own a small business called Colorado Aquaponics. Yeah, we've got actually uh, three different aquaponics systems right now. Okay. And so, you know, I'll walk you through all those and get a feel for how it works. Once I learned about aquaponics, I'm like, wow, this is a really cool way of growing fish and plants. And so I just jumped in and started studying and researching and building. What's the difference between hydroponics and aquaponics? There are a lot of similarities, but one of the fundamental differences is aquaponics for using fish waste as the fertilizer, okay. where in hydroponics you're using chemical okay. fertilizer and nutrient supplements. So that's a fundamental difference. And the other thing is we're growing fish. We specialize in developing um, systems where we're growing plants and fish together and recirculating systems. Um, we teach classes on aquaponics and do consulting and, and project management and those sorts of things. <laughs> and there's a whole tank of all these fish, and they're pretty quick, actually. What is this stuff, first of all? Right, so this is a, a, a manufactured pelleted fish food okay. that we got from um, the, uh, the hatchery where we got these fish. And again, we can you know, control um, the species. I mean, if you get fish from the ocean, they might have mercury contamination right, in it or right. not. And here, at least we know um, where our fish are coming from and how they were raised and what they're, what they're being eating, fed, et okay. cetera. This is the main input into the system is the fish food. And of course, they, okay. they do their thing and their fish waste is what's feeding the plants. All right, so this is an example of a raft uh, bed here. We're bringing water directly into the bed and the plants are actually floating on um, styrofoam sheets here directly okay. in the water. And so again, they're getting 79 degree water at the root zone. Okay. And as long as we provide enough oxygen in the water up here, they do very well in this, this environment. Okay. And you can uh, take a look. Oh, wow. And you can see that's about 10 days of rooting just from direct planting those right into the uh, raft. So you would have cut them off like right in here? Yeah, we cut them off so it was a clean cut. So yeah. all these roots that you see yeah. are all new growth. All right, so welcome to the top of the grow bed. We have a couple different tiers of growing beds on top of the fish tank. Um, we built this back in March. We had tomatoes going up here throughout the uh, summertime, which nice. did pretty well. And then we actually just cleared them out and have planted watercress up here about a week ago. And you can see watercress starting to propagate. All right. All right, so this is the bottom level of the uh, vertical aquaponic system. And we actually don't have fish in here yet, but we're gonna be bringing some trout in. Oh, cool. Uh, which are native to Colorado. Yeah. We're gonna get some from uh, up in Boulder. Okay. And uh, trout are a little different than tilapia. They like colder water. Okay. And they like a lot of oxygen and a okay. lot of aeration in the water. And although the water level is low right now, we'll fill this up to about you know a couple inches under the top here. And all that water that's flowing from those top grow beds yeah. is coming down this pipe. And we actually just cut some slots in the top of this pipe here. So that water is providing natural aeration across the entire surface area. Okay. Um, so this is, this is going to help the trout uh, quite a bit. And the beautiful thing with trout is we don't have to spend money on heating the water. Yeah. This water stays at about 55 degrees uh, right now. And that's a good temperature that's for trout. Like. Yeah. So I'm here today with Casey Lewis at the Lively Fish Farm, and we're picking up some trout today for the aquaponics project that over in Denver. Tell me a little bit about the operation. I know that we were talking, and, and this has been around for a long time. Yeah, we mainly raise trout for pond stocking. We hatch out eggs, and uh, basically we just feed them. Uh, and we'll stock them when they're anywhere from uh, mainly nine to nine inches to four or five pounds. Okay. GD, tell me a little bit about uh, the kind of fish that we're going to be taking home, the size of the fish that we're going to be taking home, and mm -hmm. why you chose trout. Sure. 
Well, these are rainbow trout here. Um, they're about uh, eight inches long or so. They'll grow out to 12 to 14 inches, even bigger, but we're gonna grow them out to probably April, May of next year. They're great tasting fish. We'll sell them to restaurants. Yeah. Um, and we have a cold water system that uh, trout love cold water. Okay. So we're gonna transfer them into a cold water system at the uh, grow house. All right, so we got our, our rainbow trout all loaded up in the van and uh, we're gonna put these uh, lids on top so hopefully we don't have, have anything spilling out. And uh, what's next? We're just gonna take these guys back to the grow house? We're gonna take them for a ride, yeah, back to Denver at the grow house. Okay, so now we're back at Colorado Aquaponics and we're gonna introduce the trout to their new home, which is this holding tank. So the fish, they seem kind of active. They, are they a little stressed right now? They're a little stressed. I mean, anytime you move fish from one environment, their home, to a new home, like it would happen for us, they're gonna be a little stressed out. Okay. Um, road trip from Boulder took an hour, bumping around, it's noisy, and they're confined in this small environment. So, you know, I mean, one thing you can do is give them a little belly rub, they like that, sure. <laughs> you know, make them, make them feel comfortable. Come here, fishies. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, we're going to just drop this sort of easy right down. Okay. Here, I'll bring it over there. All Perfect. right. Thank you, JD. Okay. I appreciate the Thank tour. You. This thing is great. I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing how you guys progress. And um, I can't wait to come back and see uh, where you guys are at, say, in six months and a year. That'd be you awesome. Bet. You bet.